Hi and welcome back. In today's video, just going to be showing where I'm up to. It's now November 16, 1945. You can see over in France, just been defending uh, from the UK and the US. They managed to get a pocket here and they've just brought up a new pocket here. Uh, it's starting to become a little bit harder to defend. Uh, they are really pushing through. Uh, but luckily it has been raining now that we're at the end of the year. Hopefully that will give us some time to reinforce this position. Uh, down here though, we've managed to hold this town quite easily with our Italian forces. Along with down in the southern areas of France as well. Uh, to try to stop them from coming into the Mediterranean. We've got some engineer squad uh, defending here. So even if these positions get pushed, uh, we can always just send them back. I want to try to fortify this area and this area to make it even more difficult for them to keep pushing along. I've got units set up pretty much everywhere. I still need to get another guy here. Um, Sicily is protected. We've got a few units in Rome. I've even put in some fortifications here. Uh, so they're not going to, even if they do come through, they're not going to be able to take Italy out of the game too quickly. Uh, just got some ships set up as well to stop them from coming through. My CV, some battleships. A bunch of garrisons just holding off this area. Uh, in case they do push into Greece, we can just kind of hold them off with some garrisons or the, and then reinforce the area from Germany. Uh, just a few defences in Denmark and Norway's all the same just had this guy kind of harassing this line every now and then we've got our Finnish units moving up they're going to try to cut off this supply line here uh, while our German forces push up and take out this town uh, so even once this has been severed uh, we'll completely sever it off once we've taken uh, this town here, which will stop any extra MPs Russia was getting from the UK and the US. Uh, we've taken Leningrad, just holding these positions here. Uh, we've taken Moscow, uh, just holding off this unit, this area here from these guys. Uh, all these units just continue to push and uh, dislodge any other of these guys that are still trying to defend this position over here. Uh, they are starting to build up quite a force over here now, um, but I'm just kind of pushing through. And over here, we're pretty much on the capital. Once these guys knock these guys out, we'll be able to take that out. Uh, over here, just going to try to connect the, this um, road together uh, and then push up into Perm. Uh, so everywhere's kind of moving quite quickly. I've uh, got Stalingrad, obviously. Um, just a bunch of extra units just kind of stopping partisans from coming through. Uh, these guys just hold, just in case they did ever try to come down and try to retake Persia, uh, they're going to have to run into these garrison units. Then down in East Africa, we've managed to take Sudan. Uh, we've taken all this, and we've just recently taken Kenya. Just using this uh, recon unit, I brought down this tack bomber and medium bomber, and with the help of this field artillery and this HQ, this guy was just sitting here, while the uh, recon unit sat here, my artillery sat here, uh, these planes sat over here, and they just kind of bombed it while he artillery them and then the recon unit finished it off. Over in Japan, uh, we're still just holding Burma. Uh, we kind of couldn't really make any significant pushes into India. They've got quite a lot of units here. Uh, so we're now just holding this position with this artillery unit uh, and a couple of army unit or army and core unit. Up here, we lost a lot of our units trying to push into Lido. Uh, unfortunately, because of how uh, many mountains there are around here, you just can't get any supply to this path. I had two HQs set up here and here, and even that wasn't enough to give, like, my dudes in here and here both had zero supply. 
Uh, so they took them out with their bombers. Uh, so now we're just left with these two units defending there. Uh, so I'd suggest don't don't try to make a push here unless you've got tanks with like mobility maybe. Up here, just got a couple of units defending here, a couple defending here. Um, but this is the main push up here. We've taken Cien, we've moved up, we've taken Yenin, and then we've moved across and taken uh, Tingxu. And now we're just pushing across to their last capital. We managed to bring a few forces up here. I'll just leave four here. Um, they help take Yenin, and then now they're going to push and probably go up and then down so that we've got two like a pincer around. And then finally, we should be able to take China uh, with the next few turns. The US, on the other hand, they haven't really been able to do too much in the Pacific. Uh, they sent a whole bunch of naval units here and then started. Uh, they brought over about four or five um, AVs, but once they landed, my carriers, tanks, I've got a heavy tank, you know, um, with fortifications set up, I've got light tanks, I've got engineer squads, you know, I've got pretty much set up all the defences. Here we've got two HQs, because as soon as they attack, you actually get a, um, like an honour guard, and it'll spawn, as soon as they attack here, i got uh, this HQ and this army unit and as soon as they attack here I got this army unit and then as soon as they attack down here or over here somewhere uh, I got this HQ and this army unit so I've got a few extra units uh, that I normally wouldn't have uh, and that's allowed me to defend Japan it was just lucky that I already had these two engineers kind of building fortifications and if you remember from last game uh, last video I had uh, a bunch of ships, uh, like submarines, set up along this border, like this coastline. And as they pushed in, they ran into my submarines, which kind of messed them up a little bit. It gave me the opportunity to take out a couple of AVs, take out a couple of CVs and battleships. And once they finally did land, uh, I managed to move my engineers up to these two positions. And I already had my tank unit here. I flew over this bomber from... China, um, and then I uh, moved up all my CVs from down the Pacific. It just gave me enough time. Once they ran into those submarines, it gave me enough time to bring the rest of my navy up. Once the rest of my navy was up here, um, we had a little bit of a skirmish. I took out majority of their units, uh, and then I just bombed everything else that was in this position because they had no towns. Uh, they couldn't get any supply, so it was a pretty failed attempt by them. Uh, as for Hawaii, they only tried to take it once and failed. Uh, they tried to take... oh they, they moved up some navy units here and I managed to take them out back when I had uh, ships set up around here. And they did take this area but I managed to retake it. But other than that, uh, they haven't really had much activity in the Pacific because I've got so many uh, defensive units it really became a struggle for them to really get any ground so as long as you have a good defense um, you can really just hold this entire area without much um, to worry about from America and same goes for uh, Europe because I managed to destroy so many of their units over in the Pacific and I destroyed so many of their units in their first couple of waves that they pushed here America hasn't really been able to do too much on either front. Whereas I know the UK do have a lot of um, AVs because um, as they were pushing in here I saw about five or six AVs come through here but they've got nowhere to land uh, so they're just kind of hovering around this area. I know there's a whole bunch of units ready to deploy uh, they just don't have anywhere to land safely so they're just kind of sitting there until they can break through my defences and then they'll push through. Uh, but the video is getting a little bit lengthy, so I'll just stop it now. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.